What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with the back here helping you take your game to the next level. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a secret to getting really good pass rush in Madden 18. Now, if this is your first time checking out one of my videos and you want to improve your Madden game, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Make sure to hit the bell icon so that you join the notification squad and never miss an upload. So what's going on guys? Like I said, today I'm going to be going over uh, kind of a secret trick to getting better pass rush uh, in the game. And it is... If you are on defense and you um, use the mechanic uh, to play the pass, uh, to pass commit, your defensive line will typically get a lot quicker block sheds uh, when you're playing. Now, this is something you need to use in must pass situations uh, because obviously, if, if you pass commit and they run the ball, you run the you know risk of getting pancaked, giving up big yards. So, I mean, obviously, these are really good third and long you know tactics when your opponent needs to get to the first down so here you're gonna see we're gonna pass commit you do this by pressing LT or L2 you hold it down and then you flick the right stick up and you'll see here see how Clayus Campbell just rips past the guy now keep in mind this isn't gonna happen every single time but it increases the likelihood of you getting an instant win at the line of scrimmage and getting quick block shits here again you see we didn't get as quick of a block shit there but you see that we still were getting guys you know coming free rather quickly guys not holding their blocks and keep in mind you know the Patriots do have a pretty good offensive line so we're not using a weak offensive line to make this even better you can put your coaching adjustments pass rush on aggressive now again must pass situations this is good to do if you mix the pass rush aggressive with the pass commit you're talking pretty much guaranteed block shit as you're seeing right here but like I said you have to keep in mind this is something you want to do in must pass situations not a first or second down tactic you want to do it on third and fourth downs when they have to pass here we're going to do it with the Patriots just to show you that you know it, it's not just because we're using Jaguars obviously they have a good defensive line we're going to use the Patriots and I'm going to use a 4-3 under here this isn't formation dependent however certain formations are better with this like nickel normal for example is a really good block shedding formation but this is going to work with any formation you're going to get quicker blocks as you see here the defensive tackle block shed right up the middle and typically when you get block sheds in the pass rush game it's usually from your defensive end it's not always going to be from your defensive tackle but if you're using pass rush aggressive and you're pass committing you're increasing the likelihood that one of your guys is going to pretty much come free almost instantly not every time but like i said when you're in a third and long you know, third and ten, third and eight, fourth and ten, fourth and seven. Uh, you see here, it took a little bit longer, but still, they're not going to give you all day in the pocket. And keep in mind, this isn't Madden Ultimate Team where we have, you know, all the best pass rushers. In Madden Ultimate Team, this works even better because of the crazy stats that some of these pass rushers have. So... Like I said, if you're in a third and long, you know, fourth and long situation, you have nothing to lose by doing this because if it's third and ten, you know, fourth and ten, third and eight, like I said, you know, even third and seven, third and six, where people, most people aren't going to run, you have nothing to lose by doing this. Pass committing and pass rush aggressive, you really have nothing to lose. Now, yes, keep in mind, if you get fake snapped uh, with pass rush aggressive on, you could jump off sides. So that is something to keep in mind. You're not going to jump off sides every single time. But again, make sure if it's if it's a third and ten, if it's a fourth and ten, if you jump off sides, you're not giving up a first down. Maybe if they if they get you to jump off sides, then just go turn your pass rush aggressive back to balance. Still pass commit in the passing situations though. So just a little trick to help get better pass rush. Like I said, if you're using this in third and long, fourth and long situations, you really have nothing to lose anyway for the most part. So you might as well implement this if you didn't know about it. And you'll be surprised at just how quick you'll get sacks in Madden 18. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, just drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.